guys, I'm here today with a very, very highly requested video, which is what's in my handbag. I'm gonna do an updated one. I don't even know what's in my bag because I've been traveling with it. I came back from France four days ago, so I have stuff that's still from traveling that's inside my bag. And I have Louis right here on the windowsill because it's so sunny and birds are flying all over the place. Louis likes to imagine that he's a hunter even though all of the birds are behind the window. But look how big he's gotten. Look, my little baby. Well, not so little anymore. My golden boy. Isn't he the cutest? Oh, he's so warm because he's been on the sun. Okay, I'm gonna put him right here. My bag is extremely heavy right now and I'll definitely be unloading it after this video because I don't need to carry all of this stuff with me every single day. So, this is my handbag. Um, I got it right before my trip to India and I just love this bag. It's beautiful, it's perfect for traveling. That's Louis' hair. It's perfect for traveling, it's perfect as an everyday bag, I love the size of it. It's not too big, but it's big enough to fit everything I need. And sorry guys if I sound a little bit throaty because I'm recovering from a cold I caught in France. So that's not fun, but anyway, I hope you don't mind my voice. So this is Michael Kors Mira bag, which I believe was either inspired or made for Miroslava Duma who is a Russian fashionista, the it girl. I don't like Miroslava Duma, but <laughs> I love the handbag. I got it in this shop called City, where they sell Michael Kors and Furline, Collagerfeld bags and stuff here. I went in to have a look at this bag and I fell in love with the leather. It's the softest, most buttery leather ever. Like it's so squishy and soft and that's why it feels very luxurious. And I also love that you cannot really tell that it's Michael Kors, you know, it's not a popular bag. I haven't seen anyone carrying a bag like this and it doesn't really have any Michael Kors logos. It just looks like a cognac colored satchel bag and that's what I love about it. It has, of course it has Michael Kors written on the everywhere, like on the buttons here, on the zipper, on the feet on the bottom. I also love that it has feet so it protects the bottom of the bag. And, but yeah, it's not like obviously Michael Kors. And it doesn't really lose the shape. I thought that it's gonna sag and look really bad, but the bag is full of stuff and it still hasn't lost its shape. And I got it during sales, so they don't have this bag anymore. And I'm not even sure if it's a permanent collection, whether it was limited edition bag, because I don't really do research into bags. If I like the bag and I'm obsessed with handbags, I love shoes, but I love handbags on another level and I don't really research handbags before buying them. If I see the bag I love, I'm gonna get it. I really don't care what the name is, what the model is, what the measurements are, like blah 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 blah. Um, so I cannot really tell you where you can find it or if it's still available. I'll try to look for it online because um, I know the name of it but I'm not sure if I will be very helpful with that. Anyway, let's get into the bag. So it has this zipper, which is great, which means everything is nice and secure. So the first thing I have is a bottle of water. Now, I don't always carry water with me, only sometimes, because it can get really heavy. Water is heavy. I try to drink as much water as I can, but sometimes it just doesn't happen. And this is Evian Madame Princess. Um, cute little bottle that my boyfriend got for me in Paris because he calls me Princess. Um, then I have a pack of tissues by Fante. These are berry scented and these are so nice. Like, they smell delicious. Um, then I have this little pouch that is still available in Mango. I got it this season and it's a pouch for your keys, which I love because it means that your keys won't scratch the rest of the stuff in the bag, like your phone. So here I keep just my PO box and my letter box keys. Then I have some chocolate. I just checked it into my bag in case I will be craving chocolate because I always crave chocolate. And this is uh, this was actually sent to me by Zoeva. Um, they sent me their new Cocoa Blend palette, which comes out on the 1st of June, I believe. And this 
just goes with the palette because it's like chocolate themed cocoa blend then i have icebreakers duo these are raspberry flavored and i got these in india um they're not available in Lithuania, so they're not bad but i would have preferred the sour ones um okay i have a bag of tissues always necessary then i have this pencil case which i got not too long ago from tiger and i love this foul lizard effect and here I just keep a pink highlighter, a pen, automatic pencil, and some lead for my pencil. So, you know, nothing too exciting. And here I have my favorite gum, which is Orbit Spearmint. Then I have a hand sanitizer because I have to have my hands clean. I hate touching stuff in the, when I'm out and about and having dirty hands. Then I have my keys. Um, Actually, there should be a home key, but my dad just removed it. So normally I would have my home key, my car key. This is um, an elephant keychain I got in India. My boyfriend and I have matching ones. This is leather heart charm from Florence, from Italy. You probably saw this in every single what's in my bag video. I love it. Florence is my favorite city in the world, along with Paris. And I have this pink pom-pom that I got in Drogas a while ago. Then this bag actually came with this pouch which has MK all over it, which I don't like, I'm not a fan. And inside of it, it has the same leather as the bag, so I wish it was this color and not this, but it's okay. The pouch is really nice quality, so I just keep all my loyalty cards in here. And I don't know, you can use it as a wallet, I guess. So that's really cool and I have a bunch of different loyalty cards, L'Occitane, The Body Shop, Gas Station, Etam, Veramoda, you know, shopaholics usually tend to have tons of loyalty cards. And I have my wallet, which you guys probably also saw a million times, it's by Maxmar. And in here, I have a ton of loyalty cards once again. And this is probably my favorite, Max Coffee. I'm a loyal coffee drinker there. I always get roasted hazelnut latte, that's my drink. This is my driver's license and this is what I look like in the picture. I think I kind of like this picture actually. I hate the picture of my ID but I kind of like this one. So yeah, that's my wallet. Then I have my phone which is iPhone 4S. And as much as I would love to update my phone and get iPhone 6, it's not in my priorities at the moment. I have other things that I have to spend my money on because I'm coming out with something very exciting next month. And I'm also planning to get Canon camera for vlogging. So yeah, phone is not in my priorities at the moment and this stuff works. So as long as it works, I'm okay with it. I have my earphones. I have a purple pen. Actually, I love this one. I have my sunglasses, which I don't always carry around because it's not always sunny here. Sometimes I just keep them in my car. And these are by Prada. You guys saw them before as well. I just love these. I love cat-shaped sunglasses and the color is beautiful. And I'm gonna put these on for you guys. And I don't even wear my other sunglasses anymore because these are just so beautiful, elegant, classy, and I think they suit my face and I just really, really like these ones. They're great quality as well. Okay, next I have a hairbrush. This one is by Denman and it's a great small little purse size brush. This is a recent purchase. I love this hand cream. It's a L'Occitane's new Neroli Orchidee hand cream. They have a perfume in this scent that I kind of want to get as well, but the hand cream is amazing. Like I love everything in the Rolly scented and it's just it's so beautiful. Even my boyfriend was like, this stuff is amazing. It smells so good. Then I have this little moleskin, which is so adorable. Look at that. It's just the cutest thing ever. And I don't have any notes in it yet because it's new. I was sent two of these two different pink ones by one of my subscribers. So thank you so much. That's like such a cute little notebook to have in your bag and it's not heavy at all, so that's great. Then I have this gum, which I haven't unwrapped yet, but it's one of my favorite gums to get in France. It's Mentos Up To You Gum. It has sweet mint and strawberry, um, so 
I really like this bubble gum. Some more gum. Can you tell I really care about my breath? It's one of my biggest pet peeves. I really hate when people have bad breath and I'm very self-conscious about my own breath. So I'll always try to have some gum around. Then I have these Cuff Sills Orange Medicine for Sore Throat. Uh, one left in here, but I think I have another one in my bag. These are actually from India and because I have sore throat I've been taking these little um, Candies for your throat. If you guys saw my vlogs, you'll have seen that my boyfriend and I went to Etretat for a few days in France And I just took this business card from a restaurant we went to there and this is what the place looks like. If you ever travel to Normandy, definitely have a stop at Etretat, it's so beautiful there. Then I have this L'Occitane Le Collection de Grasse. Um, it's a new fragrance collection that they came out with, I believe, and I've been sampling it. It's not bad. Um, then I have some receipts. What's that? Um, this is a bus ticket. And this is um, from the post office because I sent out the watch to one of my subscribers, Warnick. She emailed me to say that she already received the watch, so I'm happy about that. What's that? This is Alain Deco. I got some decorations in there. And what's that? Oh, it's actually um, numbers of buses because I had to take um, tram and bus in Vilnius when I went to my to stay at my grandparents house and here's just a list of things for something that I'm coming out with next month as I told you guys you'll get to know about it this is from Alain Deco again tons of receipts in my bag then I have a butterfly clip because sometimes my hair gets in my face and I hate that another butterfly clip this one is from H&M. Hair elastic, I like these because they match my hair and they don't have a metal bit. And I have these candies that are so good. My boyfriend and I got these in Rouen, in uh, an Asian shop. And I wasn't sure about these. <coughs> Excuse me. Because these are ginger coconut candies. And I hate ginger, so that's why I wasn't sure about these. But the coconut taste is so good that I actually don't mind the ginger. Uh, flavor in it. Ginger is quite strong too, but the milky coconut taste is so good. These actually taste like these coconut candies wrapped in rice paper that you get in Thailand. My parents brought these from Thailand once and they were the most delicious things ever. If I have any subscribers from Thailand, you'll know what I'm talking about. These coconut candies, like my mouth is watering when I think about these. So they have that same coconut flavor, but these are not chewy. The other ones are chewy. So this is what the packaging looks like. And these are just so yummy. My boyfriend got the whole pack and I grabbed just a few before leaving. Then I have my Agent Provocateur lip balm, which I've been wearing non-stop this month. I wasn't even wearing lipsticks or anything. This is all I've been wearing this month. And on my trip as well, I didn't really wear any other lip products, just this lip balm. It just, it's so moisturizing. It gives that healthy look to your lips. It's kind of cooling and I just love this lip balm to bits. I think it's my new favorite lip balm. And then I have some more hair elastics. I have a random H&M ring. And then I have my makeup bag, which is from Mango. So I have Chanel Poudre Universelle for touch-ups. And I have this mini H&M Kabuki brush. For that powder, I have my Body Shop Shea Hand Cream. Which I love this one as well because it smells really good. But I think I prefer the L'Occitane one now. I have my Bobbi Brown Lipstick in Honeysuckle. Which you guys know I love. My Bobbi Brown Lip Balm. Which I actually do prefer the Jean Provocateur one. have my MAC Lipstick in Hug Me. Which is one of my favorites. Really beautiful natural color. I have Rimmel Brow This Way Clear Eyebrow Gel because sometimes my brows get really messy and out of place. I have Clinique Chubby Stick in Heaping Hazelnut, which I was actually sent from my subscriber all the way from Japan. So thank you so much. Love this thing. And I have Tanya Burst Lip Gloss in Daydream. It's such a beautiful um, soft color. Perfect for every day. And then I have some feminine products. And... Now I'm just gonna go through the pockets. So this bag has four pockets. What's in it? Oh my god, I actually have stones in my bag. <gasps> totally forgot about these. 
have another hair elastic and these are stones from the beach in El Feta. My boyfriend and I were just like, you know, chilling on the beach and we were picking unique looking stones. Oh, that's so sweet. He picked some for me. So this one is like half beige, half white. This is really pretty. Another stone. They turn such beautiful colors when they're in the water and we're just having a really lovely time on the beach together. So these stones will remind me of that. And then in the other pocket, I have a little handbag mirror. This one is from Tiger and I love it. I have red lips on it. It's in here. This is another stone. Oh no, it's just Mentos. This bag also has this clip where you, I suppose you can attach your keys, but find these things really useless because like, I mean, if you attach your keys, how you're gonna get into your car or your house? Like, I don't know, for me, it's just like, not comfortable at all. It has two other pockets here. What? I have a huge stone in it. That's why my bag was so heavy. I actually carry stones. Like they say, is your bag full of stones or what? <laughs> my bag is actually full of stones. This is gorgeous. I love this stone, but I'm definitely gonna take it out of my bag. It has a pocket with a zipper, which has probably some random things in it. I have some bobby pins because sometimes I like to wear my hair in a bun. I have one wet wipe with alcohol and it's great if you cut yourself or um, you know, if you have a wound or something and you don't want it to get infected or whatever. <laughs> I actually have some Indian money still in my handbag, that's crazy. Indian money is really beautiful, I love these pictures. It has elephant and tiger on one side, look at that, and the other side has Gandhi. So I have 20 rupees, which is about 15 euro cents. Um, and then I have this little box where I keep just a few pills for headache and stomachache. And you guys saw this one in all of my what's in my bag videos. It just says my little pharmacy in French. That's everything inside my bag. And it also has this kind of secret pocket here. When I travel, I keep my passport and my ticket in here. So in here, I just have these micro course things. Um, this is what the picture of the bag looks like and it doesn't say the name of it here I don't know why I know it's a mirrored bag oh and this one is from France it says stop over in Bove because my boyfriend picked me up from Bove airport and he was like looking at this little booklet while he was waiting for me and this bag also has this thingy here which you can actually remove but i think that just looks so ugly like why would you want to remove it um what's that what the heck <laughs> it's a conversion chart that my aunt made um before our trip to india so she printed out uh euros and this is the conversion into rupees indian money to make it easier for us and in here I thought I don't have anything in here, but apparently I do. What's that? I don't know, like random packet. Air India, a Star Alliance member. So it's still in my bag as well because I've been traveling with this bag. So my bag is full of trash stones and random papers that I have to take out. It's really cool that I filmed this video because now I'll have a chance to clear out my bag. This bag also comes with a shoulder strap, as you can see, which you can remove, but it doesn't look that nice because you cannot remove these gold rings, which is probably the only thing I'm not very happy about. I don't like these gold rings on the sides. So I just keep the handle like that because if you remove it, it looks kind of odd. But yeah, I love the color. I love the softness of it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed having a look into my bag. I have a ton of stuff in it that... I obviously don't need. Before I go, you guys always ask what's on my lips and what's on my nails, like in every single video of mine. So I'm gonna tell you on my lips, I have Essence Lipstick in Natural Beauty, which is just a natural looking pink color. And on my nails, I have this gorgeous nail polish that I actually got today. It's the L'Oreal Colorish one and it's called Flamingo Pink, which is a bright coral pink. Kind of color it's just such a beautiful um spring and summer color 
Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.